So I'm gonna count down from ten to zero. But then you should go. But then you should know I don't really wanna take it slow. So if you love me, let's go. What's up guys? Okay y'all, today we're going to be doing a Valentine Llama. Yes. And I got uh, this idea from a cute little llama I saw at Pier 1. And I insert a picture somewhere over here, somewhere over here. This cute little llama. He's, um, like I say, I found, saw him at Pier 1. Bad, I'm like, you know what? I can make that. I know I can. So that's what we're going to do today, guys. Y'all already saw the supply list. So y'all, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I suggest you guys to do is take one of your, um, what you call it? Toilet paper rolls. And you're going to... Bend his head. This is gonna be the, the llama's head. And you just gotta squeeze it in the middle. Okay, it's one of those situations that is. <laughs> And just squeeze it in the middle. Boop. And then that'll be his head. Then next you take the two other toilet paper rolls. And we're just, these are going to be the legs. So we're going to glue them together. Beep. Just make sure they're even. Let that dry a little bit and I'll show you the next step. Okay, guys. Next step, I'm gonna um, get put <clears throat> put his head a little bit more secure. So I'm just gonna can y'all see it? Add some glue on my ends here, and that's just gonna make sure that fold is complete. And y'all already know. Just kind of hold it there. Y'all already know the rule. It's hot, guys. So please be very, very careful. I hope y'all can see. I'm just holding it together so it can stay closed. And add as much glue as you can so that can be a little bit more secure. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. Once the ears, the head is kind of more secure with the glue then take this uh, roll and insert it into this roll it's gonna be a little struggle but it's doable as you already see and I didn't add glue in it but you can once it's in there properly add your little glue but it's not going anywhere so I'm not gonna add any glue to mine and then you position the head to turn the way that you want your finished product to be. I want him not to face directly. I made him just look like he's looking over to the right, left, whatever. <laughs> 
So then we're gonna start our next step, guys. The next step, we're gonna just use our Mod Podge and take our white um, stuff, fluffy stuff, and then we're gonna just put it, cover a whole entire llama, guys. It's quite simple and hopefully quite easy. And you're just gonna apply some glue. And then some stuffing. That simple, guys. That simple. So I'm gonna finish covering my llama. Don't worry about the uh, the openness right there. We'll take care of that later. Just cover everything that you're able to right now. Alrighty, guys. Uh, this is pretty much how your llama should look. You should cover the entire thing with it. And if you still can see brown through it, just add an extra little layer or, you know, smooth out your fluff fluff. But for the most part, this is how your llama should look after you finish covering it. And then when, like, say if your legs aren't, like, spaced out enough, I just took, like, an edge... And I just ran it down the middle so it can uh, cause that crease in the middle. So you can see two legs instead of just one. Okay, and so for this part, you can leave it blank. Uh, or you can just add some extra fluff on top, glue it within the inside of it. And then add the fluff, and then they'll cover it so he could just have a flat back. Or, like I say, you could just leave it as is and um, maybe put, like, little items in it. So I'll show you both ways at the end. But I want to just show you how Mr. Llama should be looking right now. He's already so cute. The next step, we're going to be creating his little bitty face. For this step, you will need some beads listed like it's in the, su the supply list. And you can use any beads. I'm using these because that's what I have. But instead of turning them this way, I'm going to turn them actually this way. So you don't see the hole. And then you're going to need like a wood, um, I don't even know what this is called, like a plug thing. I get all my little stuff, majority of the stuff, either from thrift stores or Dollar Tree. But I think they have these beads at Dollar Tree. So, but like I said, you could get any beads. So I'm gonna use this for his nose, like his face area. And then that's gonna be it for the face. So I'm gonna glue his face on. Uh, I guess I could glue it on now. <laughs> Y'all, I'm really just eyeing it. Um, or where I think I might want it to be. Can y'all even see it? I'm gonna put this bad boy on before it dries. That's not how it is. And it's hot, guys. Boop, boop. Let me finish putting his face together and I'll be right back, guys. And there you have it, guys. My finished llama. Oh my god, y'all. I think he is so cute. Now, of course, it do not look exactly like the one in pure one at pure one, but um, I think overall he is cute enough. Now, as you see, I added a little top a little scarf whatever you want to call it now this is something i crocheted i just used a basic chain stitch or whatever you call it um but y'all can find it on youtube i'm like yo i'm not an expert in crocheting as of yet to give a tutorial on it but that's what this is but you could also use a wide ribbon red ribbon or whatever color ribbon you want to are you know decorated as you see fit but i want him 
to be, you know, Valentine color coordinated or whatever. But I could have, of course, easily chosen pink. And then for his eyes, I went with paint. So if y'all can't find beads or whatever, Dollar Tree, I do believe the last time I was there, they have little paint and you know, what have you. So you could just dab some paint like I did. That is just paint, guys. It's not even beads. And so to embellish, to give him more of the llama <laughs> effect, I added more fluff between his ears. And then that brought that up, brought that out or what have you. So play around with your llama, you know, for his face. I just, I kind of copied the, the llama face that I saw at Pure One. But y'all already know, y'all could Google it and kind of what have you. Cook them up a little bit better, whatever. I'm going to bring them closer. And so for his butt, I did add this little fluff right there. Uh, to seal that hole but you don't have to seal the hole if you want to but I went ahead and did it you add a tail and embellish as much as you as you like guys make this llama your creation and not my creation but I love llamas and I wanted him to have more of a Kisu will see softer face, so that's why I wanted his dimensions to be a kind of a little smaller than the one at Pure One. But have at it, guys. You can add ribbons to make it more of a girl llama. And just, I mean, come on, y'all. Y'all already know the ideas are endless. But I think he is so cute. Look at close up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And. That's pretty much it. I mean, the back pretty much looked the same. You, could, you know, I could cover up a little bit more, but, you know, for me, you already know I'm good. I'm real good. Ha! Thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If y'all like this video, go ahead and hook me up with a thumbs up. See you guys next Sunday.